Perry. Aaron Emmanuel Nini Princess Saga Tega. Go for your ideal woman. That's exactly what you're saying. Somebody cannot even say, let me just sleep small. These people would have already done and displayed more drama. This just happened just uh, as I was about to go to bed and I said, whoa, <laughs> thank God I was awake because I would have been hearing just and just and I would not even get the actual fact of what exactly happened. Anyways, guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Okewumi and this is the Big Brother Niger Review season six live on the women's talk show if you are watching my videos for the first time a very big welcome to you this is the right channel for you to get all the latest updates of the big brother niger review season six anyways guys today i'm going to be giving you all the gist that happened yesterday the head of house games how we chose how the housemates nominated and the drama that happened later in the night yesterday let's just get straight into today's video welcome back guys as i told you on sunday four new housemates were introduced and yesterday the housemates were trying to catch up with the new housemates the whole the housemates were trying to catch up with the new housemates but guys i noticed a lot of hypocrisy i noticed a lot of fake attitude i noticed a lot of lies because like this old housemates i don't know whether they felt intimidated by the new housemates but they, i mean i was just hearing new lies i, I don't do this thing i'm a type of person that i'm like ah. Uh, you spent one weekend and we already know who you are why are you trying to lie to this new housemate you know a lot of people were trying to you know form bond by bringing down somebody else telling them ah this one this one this is how this person is you know that kind of thing now but you know i don't know what this new housemates are here i don't know whether they're here to stay or they are probably fake housemates but i believe they're here to stay and play the game well as you can see most of the ladies are drifting to michael because it's kind of attractive even me i fell for him <laughs> so um you know michael is bonding more with jackie b queen is bonding with emmanuel and boma because emmanuel and queen they, they come from the same state um jmk has not seemed to fi um, find a close kind of pal yet she's still trying to get to know each of the houses and kv has been eating since he got into the house okay. princess and sasuke and angel so guys i'm not going to be able to play all the clips so that i don't get copyrighted i'll just cut it out for you so apparently the normal head of house games were held today and pere had the highest score with 25 and automatically became the head of house for this week and gained access to the head of house room or the head of house lounge so um after he won the games you know he was giving 45 minutes to think of who he wants to be his deputy obviously we know who was going to pick but i didn't think he was going to pick who we think he was going to pick <laughs> anyways after um during the process of he thinking um the housemates were supposed to come in to do their nominations for the housemate that they want to put up for possible eviction for this week so i'm gonna start with cross cross nominated princess and tega Buma nominated Taske, and princess saga nominated princess Tega, white money nominated ari and jay paul nini nominated princess and emmanuel jackie b nominated saga and nini sammy nominated Tega and princess jay paul nominated maria and pere Likoros nominated saga and ari ari nominated emmanuel and Tega. Yusef nominated ari and boma princess nominated saga and ari pere nominated princess and sasuke Sasuke nominated White Money and Nini. Peace nominated Tega and Princess. Emmanuel nominated Ari and Angel. Tega nominated Nini and Ari. Angel nominated Princess and Emmanuel. Maria nominated Ari and Angel. As usual, the head of house, you know, the head of house gets this um, nomination edge where the housemates cannot nominate him. So nobody can nominate Perry. And so how they do it is after the nomination process, the number of housemates with the highest number of votes um gets to be up for eviction and that's what big brother did and guess what the following housemates are up for possible eviction this week Aaron, emmanuel nini princess saga Tega. it is time to use your veto power to save a nominated housemate and replace with 
I'm not Please sag it with Seth's cake. First things first is that this housemates are so fake. Like, this nomination process is a normal thing for you to go in there, pick two people that you want to nominate, come out, sit down, and they will collate the votes and the ones with the highest nominations, they'll call them. And today, the ones with the highest nominations were Ari, Saga, Nini, um, Tega, and Princess. They had the highest nominations and they were up for possible eviction. And as usual, the head of us um, comes with a title, um, comes with a veto power. And that veto power allows him to save one person and replace it with another housemate. And so Pere decided, to, even in his diary session, he already nominated um, Sasuke. And so when he was given the chance to replace and nominate one, I initially thought he was going to pick Emmanuel because of their bond. But it appears that it's closer to Saga. Or he probably sees Emmanuel as a threat. Either ways, he, he nominated Sasuke. Or he saved Saga and replaced Saga with Sasuke. Which is very annoying because I really love Sasuke and him doing that makes me hate him. But um, it's fine. It's a game and yeah, things happen. Now, you know what hurts me or what annoys me after this nomination? Why I think these aspects are just very fake people. After things like this, they, they now go and start to cry or they start to laugh or they start to do all these sad faces. Like, you nominated me, guy. It's fine. I'm fine. Just stay on your... Which one is all the f- um, fake love and fake hugs and fake uh like i don't get it's a game and we all know that people would leave at some point and people would be nominated stop trying to be fake stop trying to be empathetic like the people that you nominated me and then you're coming to pretend or you're coming to act all nice like that is a i don't want to use the effort but that is a very very fake type of behavior and toxic attitude anyways after the whole process Perry was asked to choose a deputy and he chose maria which was very predictable and guys imagine if Perry hadn't chose maria please let me know <laughs> in the comment section but then before then you know during the space where he had to think of who was going to pick as his deputy the house is already saying things like and people outside are already shipping Perry and maria if Perry doesn't choose maria they're just going to break his head or just and i'm like that brings me back to the fact that these housemates are fake they are too conscious of the camera they are acting because they are acting it because they know what we want and they're trying to give us what we want they're not being themselves they are too conscious of the camera too conscious about what we're doing outside too conscious of their fan base too conscious of everything which makes me feel like everything they've been doing is just fake they have not been themselves they've not brought anything because they're just very dramatic anyways let's leave that aside there's something called the executive lounge in the house and the rule to the executive lounge is that you know no one or no housemate can have access to it or can enter into the executive lounge until they see a green light and when they see a green light the first housemate to see the green light and enter into the executive lunch has access to it for an hour and can invite two other housemates into the executive lounge and after that not just that they get to talk about everything that they are restricted to talk about normally in the house except the only thing they are not allowed to do in the executive lounge is to be violent so they can do anything talk about disqualification talk about any other thing talk about strikes talk about mic talk about production talk about any other thing aside um being violent in the executive lounge. and guess who got or gained access to the executive lounge today well j paul gained access to the executive lounge today and not just that he was allowed to invite two people who would like to spend the one hour with and he chose white money and boomer do you see the power of guy power see let me just let me know like if it was a girl that like gained success it's boys they will call inside but you see guys i don't know why these guys are stronger together they back themselves up i mean that's what i can really see in the house they fight for each other they i don't know well that's story for another day and so um yeah he, he um invited white money and boma over and they really had um very cute discussions they were eating granules and drinks i mean you know they didn't use the tv at actually there's a television there for them but they didn't actually make use of it and they were allowed to spend one hour there discussing about things that they would not naturally be able to discuss um 
outside the house i mean a lot of housemates were begging jay paul to pick them like please pick me now you know but jay paul made his decision and went with boma and white money now guys after all these things so like i was already like okay good night people let me go and sleep i just started hearing screams from the room i'm like who is that again what is happening and guess what angel and sammy got into a fight like hot heated argument it's not a small argument like heated argument wait for it We're not the same on different mental levels. Like, yeah, understand? We're not the same. But can you guys just? Nothing is going to happen after this, literally. You see, two things I hate in this life is number one, disrespectful man and women hating on each other i hate those two things now let's get to the bottom of this fight sammy has always been a confused person from the beginning of the show you know i i've been saying this thing i just knew that this was going to happen and thank god i kept my eyes on sammy so now there was a tutor there that happened yesterday night although i slept off but like i got the gist in the morning so um you know the dead angel to touch a guy's um whatever <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then she picked a new housemate that's michael that just come and she did it with michael she didn't kiss like just touch and she did it with michael and ever since then um sammy has been acting like one boat in his head was loosened and i'm like okay so yes she did it in your presence and apparently these people those two people had an agreement that if they have truth or there or something she wouldn't do it to any of his friends or whatever maybe someone just, and and i excuse well she did it with him because she did it with a new housemate because like he's just coming and so she has no feelings for him so nothing no strings attached and no and he doesn't really care because like he doesn't know the guy before and so he wouldn't really feel it like that now do you know where i had a problem like who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do first of all in the big brother's house now sammy is here with angel arguing over that how she's flirting around with the new guys that just came and how she doesn't stay one place going from one guy to another this week she likes but my next week she doesn't not your babe and yesterday sammy said a lot of words although you know angel didn't start insulting sammy not until he started calling her oh you, you are going around to different men uh you know feel old body da 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 uh is it because of your stupid breast and bum bum other girls have it da 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 and i'm like if you even say you ever liked me or if you say you like me you won't say those words to me in the presence of everyone and then you're like you're slut shaming me and i don't like it and then she begins to use the curse words at him like the f words and all of that at him because he started slut shaming her and i watched the bit the arguments where the camera started from them from the beginning to the end i made sure i stay so that nobody come and tell me i know he was saying this or saying it because i know that that was the most disrespectful thing any man would ever do and you can say what do you mean by slut shaming wait be wait be that one wait to be certain it was very clear that he didn't even know the word slut shame. He doesn't even know what it means. Not to talk of the fact that he was doing it. So how would you know the meaning of something? And like how do you tell me you're doing something when you don't even know the meaning of it? So first of all, it was ignorant because I'm sure he had never heard the word because asking what 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 is slut shame? Well, she just shouted it was that what's that? And I'm like, ah. for you not even know the meaning of slut shame, you are you're a disgrace too. And I know <laughs> I don't know because i'm not taking sides with angel i'm just fighting for what is right and what is not and do you know that you guys now know the funniest part when the argument got out and other women and other girls in the house head you know i just like the bond of the guys in the house guys will go and run to the guys but you see the stupid women in the house instead of them to ah, angel what's up don't talk to her like dad she's i'm not saying take sides but i mean 
give respect to whom respect is due i mean she's a woman and don't call her names like that don't tell her that she's going from it's not your body it's not you like guys are allowed to flirt with different girls why is she not allowed to flirt with any guy she wants to flirt with has nobody ever played you before sammy like is that the problem so i mean i don't know and these women started laughing or those girls started laughing like you know when somebody's telling two people are fighting and it's like you are happy like you've been waiting for that time that's how it seems like and they, get, <laughs> and they come <laughs> what's it you cut at this <laughs> and i'm like these ones are children and angel is like in everything what hurts her the most is not even the fact that sammy is insulting and all that it's the fact that the women in the house that's supposed to be supporting women the women in the house that are supposed to be mature like she knows that if any woman or if if any guy in the house talks to any lady like that she will not take it she will not sit down she will not keep me and she will not laugh about it because it's not even funny like what exactly in the whole drama is funny to the girls like you don't even know what happened <laughs> like what well that aside um sammy goes into the garden room lying now nah. you know it was just confused because he would say i said that eh eh wait wait tell me i i you know the old you know the old body how is this slut shaming and when somebody says oh that's slut shaming like eh i know if we talk i'm safe i know talk i'm and i'm like guy you're just contradicting yourself you're a liar you're a confused person and the truth is sammy feels a lot much intimidated when he's around angel because she's more knowledgeable and well read than he is and i'm not going to lie i'm saying this based on facts first week you know my eyes has been on this boy first week this guy this guy will legit angel really liked him and he used to use angel to do to do like he's settling for her like because all of that girls in the house have one people that they have or one person that they have so that's why it's just settling for her because he will go to the guys that time he will go to Perry and say that angel she just they come missing she they sit down on my leg i don't know what she want to no, i even like him that much my spec now peace he go to me he always disrespects her like man i don't even want anything you know you know all these boys that are trying to form um i'm the hard guy in front of their guy friends and trying to make the girl that just genuinely normally likes them look like oh she's pushing herself on them that's how sammy made angel feel for first week i mean he was eating his cake and having it this boy would legit be flirting with angel and go behind her back and flirt with peace i flirt with other girls sometimes we oh jack we say now you i be there i feel i feel but they we to now you i won't do this one no this one and i'm like if you say you like someone and you're going to tell 10 girls that is you i want to do like are you settling for angels is that what you mean i mean throughout after the first week second week sammy was trying to kiss angel was trying to touch angel and all of that and angel was giving him this i'm not ready for this yet and true to their start the, it was the first person that started this nonsense between them. Truth of their start, they asked him to pick a girl that he would like to marry or respect. He didn't pick Angel. They asked him to pick a girl to do something else with. He didn't pick Angel. And then Angel's turn comes and they ask her, pick a guy and kiss. And she picks another guy. Boom! That is where the jealousy, anger, hatred started from. That is where everything started from. I feel like this night was just a time for Sammy to bottle it um, all out on Angel and do you know the funniest thing this guy started vexing he carried face again the next morning he went to jackie b you know see what that he did do she no get sense she no guess how do you talk to talk about a girl that you say you like like that like it is not the first time that sammy has been disrespecting angel behind her back she doesn't even know she doesn't hear those things i hear them i watch them and i'm so upset and so today just makes it i'm just happy for this fight because let her know how terrible sammy can be and how disrespectful those are the disrespectful things he says about her even behind her back so i'm just glad that she's able to hear them today you know how can you disrespect someone like disrespect someone like that and try to be manipulative about it you come and try to manipulate hey, you you've not been doing this you've not been doing that da, 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 da. somebody has told you clearly that uh, we're not romantically involved yet i'm still trying to and Sometimes it's her number. Uh, I'm not 
making up this is they happen sammy will go and meet other guys i remember him telling me that ah, uh, angel is not on his level low uh like the english that she used to speak safe it used to make him feel this one that one that one so it it really really confirms that he is intimidated by angel first of all with a level of knowledge second of all with the english she speaks and i like the way angel fought for herself even after the other ladies or majority of the other girls in the house were trying to you know paint her bad and make her feel summer oh because because she dresses this she does this doesn't mean that she's a slut and doesn't mean that she's loose you can just penetrate into her and do whatever you want to do with her and get out yes she proved that point today that because i have tats because i have piercings because i have this way that doesn't mean you should talk to me and that doesn't mean you should maybe stereotype me that oh, this one has tattoo this one is to open breast mm, she's a this one she's a loose girl da, 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 da. she really really made that a point tonight and i like the way Aaron. I was like, ah, when the fight started, I was like, ah, where's Ari? Where's Ari? You know, Ari is still getting over the she's up for eviction age. And so she was just in the corner while other girls were talking. She was just looking at them and she was just wondering. And I feel like Ari is a very good judge of character because what happened this night made me realize that that Ari, she thinks before she talks, she's intelligent. And you know, Ari was saying that this time she used to rate him very high before. She used to put him on highest. I said, this guy, good guy. She even tried to talk in just him. But one day he did see something very stupid that was during the attacks remember i told the angel and i mean, we were pissed at him for what he did he's always disrespecting that tax brings me back to that tax that tax was like why are you laughing at her what did they do you did it see if you see the way he shouted and i'm like you say you like someone and you're talking to a person like this it can never be me I mean, once i see signs like that that's the end you can't talk to me any i'm in public bring me down and you come and say you like me in the closet two more days or three more days and you tell me because you're angry that means anytime you're angry you can't you can't beat me you can't do anything you can do even worse so guys see i, I was upset yesterday I, I i will not lie and it's still getting on me and i don't think i can ever forget forgive sammy because he's very manipulative I, like angel doesn't even know all this has happened behind her back like he has been meeting peace he has been saying all this and she she hasn't come out yet she hasn't seen it and she's still even like trying to ugh, i can't cope i can't deal knowing this i mean guys we've come to the end of today's show i mean I mean, it's a lot. It's a roller coaster and emotions fly here and there. For me, that's not even an announcement. But guys, I'll be here next um, tomorrow giving you another gist today. Probably giving you more gist and updates of everything that happens today. My name is Okay Wumi. This is the Wumi structure. Nobody talks to women anyhow. Nobody talks to men anyhow. I agree. But like, if you're a fault, you're a fault. If you're not, you're not. Do you understand? I won't support a woman when she does something very bad. And I won't support a man when he does something very bad. That's how it goes. Anyways, guys, that's all we can take today on the Big Brother Niger Review and Update, Life on the Women's Talk Show. Do ensure share to subscribe, like, share, and also leave a comment about this fight in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye.